I'm Jim Coulter. I am co-chair of LEAD, a commission formed a year and a half ago at the behest of the Department of Education and the FCC and charged with developing a national blueprint for educational technology. We come to Aspen with two observations and one big idea. First observation, we are finally at the tipping point for educational technology. Wi-Fi, tablets, and the cloud have made available demonstrable progress in educational technology. The time is now, if you could see it as I have, you would know that educational technology is finally here. Second point, it is shocking how little technology has touched U.S. education. We demand Wi-Fi at our coffee shops. Only 20% of schools are wired for broadband. Encyclopedia Britannica has voluntarily stopped its print edition. Our kids walk to school with 40-pound backpacks stuffed with paper. We approach technology as 16,000 school districts. Turkey, Singapore, Korea have already moved boldly at a national level to deploy educational technology. So the big idea is this. It's time for a coherent collective effort to make national technology, educational technology, a path to a new educational future. LEAD last week released its blueprint for just such a plan, and we'll be publicly discussing it tomorrow for the first time here at the Aspen Ideas Festival at 1020. The plan is simple, wire the schools. Two weeks ago, Obama basically said that he was committing to wire the schools within five years. We support that. It would cost 30 cents per phone bill to get that done, and it can be done in three years. Deploy devices by 2020 nationally. Turkey is doing it in three years. Why can't we do it in seven? Accelerate the development of educational digital curriculum. Korea is doing away with all paper textbooks by 2016, and we're still mired in adoption, uh, adoption processes designed for paper textbooks on a five-year basis. And lastly, invest in human capital all educational solutions require teachers. Korea and Singapore are 100% teacher trained for technology. We're at 10%. It's unacceptable. Technology is not a panacea for this or anything, but it has disrupted positively almost all content areas. Why not this, the most important content areas? We need to make it possible. At the end of the day, it's in our control to do this. It's affordable. It's a big idea. It's an achievable idea. And it's an idea we must embrace if we're ready for the 21st century. Thank you. And we hope you'll join us tomorrow at 1020.